بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على أشرف المرسلين محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين أما بعد فقد قال الله تعالى في القرآن المجيد والفرقان الحميد أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم واعتصموا بحبل الله جميعا ولا تفرقوا Beloved listeners السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in his beloved final communication to entire humanity he tells us the Muslims particularly and hold fast onto the rope of Allah all together and be not divided and separated so the command of Allah is unity and Allah Allama Iqbal takes a cue from this command and he is restless firstly about the unity of the ummah of Muhammadur Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wasallam he want us to remain one and united so that we can be an example to humanity and teach them a lesson to become free from discrimination and free from being dishonest as far as their own personalities are concerned because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has created all of us ya ayyuhan nasu inna khalaqnakum min dhakarin wa untha wa ja'alnakum shu'uban wa qaba'ila lita'arafu in akramakum indallahi atqakum O oh, members of the human race, we have created you from one male and a female and distributed you into nations and tribes so that you may know, understand and appreciate one another. Most certainly the best of you in the sight and evaluation of Allah is the most virtuous of you, the most righteous of you. So Allama Iqbal taking a cue from this, tells us, especially the Muslims, what is the aim of Islam? Yehi maqsood e fitrat hai, yehi ramze musalmani. Yehi maqsood e fitrat hai, yehi ramze musalmani. Akhuwat ki jahangiri, muhabbat ki farawani. To butane rang khun ko tod kar millat me gum ho ja. This indeed is the aim of nature and the very goal of Islam that the brotherhood of man shall reign supreme and love must flow in abundance. Therefore, Muslim, take this idol of blood and color and smash it so that it may become one with dust and then they shall not remain an Irani, a Turani or an Afghani or any other nationality. All of you will be in the ocean of Islam as Muslims. Allama Iqbal is restless when he sees that Muslims have fallen prey to the idol of nationalism, my nation, right or wrong. And he cries out, in taza khuda o me bada sab se watan hai, jo pehran uska hai, wo mazhab ka kafan hai. Amongst these new gods that you have made with your own hands is the idol of nationalism and country. Let me tell you, that the garb that it adorns is the coffin of your deen, 
It is the coffin of Islam. It is the shroud of Islam. You want to bury Islam if you become entangled in this type of a notion. Allama Iqbal tells us, he says, that as far as a Muslim is concerned, Bazu tera tawheed ki quwwat se qawi hai, Islam tera dez tu mustafawi hai. O Muslim, you are strengthened by the unity of Allah and the unity of mankind and all creation. And what is your country? What is your country? Islam tera dez tu mustafawi hai. And what is your nationality? You belong to Muhammad Mustafa sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And he says, He tarke watan sunnate mahboob ilahi de tu bi nubuwat ki sadaqat pe gawahi. No country is yours. Muhammadur Rasulullah left his beloved Makkah, the house of Ibrahim alayhi salam, his birthplace, the first house of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and he left it for another place because to do that not to attach yourself to any place is sunnat mahboob ilahi it is the beautiful tradition of Muhammadur Rasulullah the beloved of Allah de tu bi nubuwat ki sadaqat pe gawahi you also become ready to move when the time comes in order to testify of the truth of the mission of Muhammadur Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Re behr maqami to natijah tabahi, re behr me azade watan surat mahi. If you remain in one place, then you will perish. It's like a frog in a well. Why don't you take a lesson from the fish? Take a lesson from the fish that it moves from one ocean and another ocean and another ocean not knowing what the borders are. Why do you have these borders? That is what Allama Iqbal says, tells us. He says, Nazara e derina zamane ko dikha de e mustafawi khak me is but ko mila de. He says, Show this spectacle that the whole world is awaiting to see. Take this idol of blood and color and smash it so that it may become one with dust. You are Mustafawi and show the meaning of being one who belongs to Mustafa sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And therefore he tells us that if you want to be one and united and you have this cohesion and togetherness, then you are from Mustafa sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. If you want disunity, dissension, and if you want to be desiccated, then you belong to Abu Lahab. Visal Mustafa wi iftiraq Abu Lahabi. We must make up our minds. Do we follow Muhammad Mustafa or we follow Abu Lahab, the enemy of Muhammad Rasulullah, of Allah, of Islam and of humanity. Choose your path, either, either rahmatul lil alameen, the mercy unto the entire creation, or this Abu Lahab, the father of flames, who will be consigned to the flames. Whom do we want to follow? We have a choice. Allah Iqbal tells us what is the aim of the West, especially these harbingers of nationalism. Tafriqe milal hikmate afrang ka maqsood, Islam ka maqsood faqad millate adam, makkene diya khake janiva ko ye pegam, makkene diya khake janiva ko ye pegam, jamiyate akwam ke jamiyate adam. To disrupt the unity of mankind is the chief aim of the West. The oneness of humanity is Islam's greatest goal. Therefore, Makkah gives this message to Geneva, which was the headquarters of the League of Nations. It is like New York, which is the head of the United Nations. What do you want? A league of narrow-minded nationalists 
or a league of the sea of humanity. What do you want? So we as Muslims, we are after the unity of Islam, the unity of Muslims. We want to become one. As he has said, that we must join together and look at all the common points. Because for a Muslim, this earth is not his abode. He is not international. He is universal. Sitaro se aage jahan aur bhi hai. Abhi ishq ke imtihan aur bhi hai. Before, beyond these firmament which your eyes behold, there are other worlds. And if you are a true lover, a true Muslim, you have got many trials and tribulations that you have to overcome. And this trial that we have of nationalism, we have to smash it and become one in the sea of humanity. This is the message of Iqbal. صلى الله على النبي الكريم والسلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته وفي العز للعبد الذليل تبلغ بالقليل من القليل يوم القليل من القليل وأي السادة للسفر الطويل وأي السادة سفر الطويل وفي عصيانه